hey boo welcome or welcome back so today we are doing a natural glam for women over 40 and this is right up my alley this is me like miss kiki is natural glam and over 40 so i mean isn't it fitting Jumping right in, I am going to start with a little bit of skincare today. I noticed the last time I wasn't too happy with my complexion and I'm like, what did I do different? And I think that what I did different was I went straight in with the primer and the makeup. And I'm gonna start with my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner. It is my brand. I love it. It's rose water and it really keeps me hydrated. It combats the oil. It combats the acne. We all know that acne is a very, very angry. So this rose water, you know, it just keeps everything nice and calm. So I'm really going to plump up today. I'm going to go in with a little hyaluronic acid now because this is my problem area right here. And this is what I want and need the most plump. Okay, now I'm going to just, oh, I'm, I got glitter everywhere already. <laughs> now I'm going to jade roll that into my skin. You're supposed to do it an even amount of times. Um, I'm just massaging the face. This is bringing blood flow. And this automatically holds like cooling. I'm trying to let you know, like, you can store it in your fridge and as a matter of fact i think i am gonna start storing this in my skincare fridge but definitely it's already cold okay so now i'm gonna take a little bit of this snail cream and apply just a smidget on my neck and then i'm gonna take my avo cosmetics restorative face cream formulated with lavender it smells so amazing press a little bit of that into the skin and then take my Avo Cosmetics Rapid Dark Spot Repair and do one drop and also press that into the skin. I'm gonna avoid the eyebrows with the oil. Okay, so while that is on and soaking up, we can start priming the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Paint Pot. This is in shade Land Low. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the flower by Beauty Bakery and just set that. So this was the steps when I absolutely loved my foundation and it was flawless. I had on a little bit of skincare, then I primed, I had let it soak in, I primed. And then when I primed, I went in with the Chanel foundation. And then I went in with the Watermelon Glow and more Chanel foundation and I absolutely loved the skin. Okay, so we're gonna let that skincare soak in a little bit more and do our brow. Now, I'm not gonna uh, scope my brows out. If it's your first time here, my name is Kiki Carr. I'm a makeup artist, a licensed esthetician, and I don't really scoped out my brows. Like, and when I say scoped out, I mean with the concealer. So we probably won't be doing that today. I just like kind of filling in the sparseness. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the brow powder and kind of just like fill in the rest. So I use the pencil to get the shape. And now I'm going to fill in parts of the brow we can still see through. Sculpting out your brows and drawing your brows on and you mess up. It's totally okay to use concealer to clean up and fix. That's one of the purposes of concealer. I personally just use like a Q-tip. Yeah, nice, soft, beautiful looking brow that it looks, it has a nice shape. It looks full. And to me, it just doesn't like look painted on. It doesn't look artificial. It still looks very nice and natural and soft. And that's how I like my brows these days. I used to do the whole sculpting and absolutely perfect brow. And uh, I just feel like that is really, really dating us. I think that we done remixed the 1920s. You know what I mean? When the brows were super thin and it was just one line and you look back like that was terrible. We doing these big sculpted looking brows and we are gonna look back on it like a mess. Okay, so now before we finish the brows, I'm gonna go in with my Hydro Grip and I'm going to prime the face real quick. I put this very specific places. Nose, pore area, pretty much. That's it. Tad on the forehead. I keep it away from the smile lines. 
Okay, so now is the fun part. We get to put our base on using the Chanel foundation again. Let me shake it up. Been loving, loving, loving this because it just looks so good. Stippling it in, just getting on that first coat. All right, so now let's go ahead and go. I like to use a lot of this around my mouth, I really do. And did you know, actually adorning yourself, right? Adorning yourself in like makeup and perfume and jewelry and all of that is considered a luxury. That's an anointing. Like it's a lot of women out here who love to brag that they don't wear no makeup and we making a whole video on that in itself because it's not a flex and that's like gonna be the name of the video. Like stop it sis because that's not a flex. Like it's not a flex with any woman out here saying that she don't wear makeup. Like okay like do you want to cook like I don't understand what like even saying it is about and in my opinion in my professional opinion having have worked with so many women thousands of women over the years it's only three types of women who say they don't wear makeup one woman who just never tried but she wants to get into it and she's like i don't wear makeup but i want to right and then it's another type of woman who she just never got into it like she don't have anything against makeup. She just never learned to put it on. She just never wore it. She just never got into it. You know what I mean? It's some people out here, they never got into hip hop. You know what I mean? They, they, uh, they are R&B person. You know what I mean? With the crazy hip hop, they couldn't, they never could get into it. You know what I mean? So we have that type of woman. And then we have the woman who feels as though with her saying I don't wear makeup she's hurting me or someone else or have something on us or something like that and it's just like mm, you're not hurting me like you're the one that's not adorning yourself you're not putting that time and energy into you and that doesn't hurt me like anytime a lady does not like like my offer she don't want my weight loss plan she don't want you know, me to help her with her makeup or her skin, or she don't think that the clothes that I post is cute. And she don't like, if she rejects anything that I have, it doesn't hurt me. You know what I mean? Cause see my makeup straight, my skin straight, my wardrobe straight, my vajay shoe is straight. Like I'm straight. You know what I mean? My brows are straight. You know what I mean? Like People be like, I don't, I don't need all of that. I don't need all of that. Uh, nobody needs makeup. I don't think that it's a need. We like it. We want it. It makes us look better. It makes us feel better. And it's scientifically proven that when you feel good, that's very healing to the body. So you walking around frumpy looking, you're killing yourself. You're hurting yourself. You know what I mean? Because I feel much better when I'm nice and clean and, you know, my hair is clean and my skin looks great and, you know, I smell good and I feel better. You know what I mean? So, like, I've never met a woman who makeup didn't make her feel good. So, if something happened and makeup don't make you feel good or something like that, I get it. But trying to down another woman, I don't need all that. It's really you operating from a space an unhealthy space and everybody can see it. You're operating from insecurity and you should work on that. Should never you should never want to even feel good about feeling like you got one up on somebody. Don't feel like you got one up on me cuz of all this makeup. Feel like you got one up on me cuz you you did a big one like Oprah. You know what I mean? Like feel like you something substantial to feel like, "Oh, I got something over her." Not, oh, I don't wear makeup. I don't need all of that. Oh, okay, sis. If you say so, because dude over there killing you. Like his makeup cold. He looking beautiful. He laid. And a man's eye is going to go to what's attractive. Not knowing what's in that pants is a surprise. But I'm just saying, like, dude over there killing you. You know what I mean? And, I, and, I'm, and I'm saying it as, like, you know, a regular person who isn't have extraordinary beauty because it's like it's women out here who are just extremely breathtaking and stunning and gorgeous and you know very naturally bone structure and stuff very naturally very very beautiful like they literally wake up like this but the rest of us we need to need to spruce up 
You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. Like, we're going to have to have a whole chat about it, though, because, like, it's not, it doesn't come from a healthy space, and it's definitely not a flex. Okay, I do want to play with these concealers soon. This is my MAC. Um, I forgot what this Prolong Wear. I really want to play with this again soon, and you know that I love Born This Way, but for right now, I have thrown these to the side. I would love to play with them today, but I don't want to risk it. I want to do what I know has been looking so pretty on me lately, and that is the Tarte with the Neutrogena on top. So I like to really make sure that my, my stuff is really, really, really pressed in because that's the key. I like to, you know, we're going to layer with, with powder, so... Let's get it as pressed in as possible. Light layers each and every time will give you the most natural look. We went in heavy with the foundation and then after that, um, we just, we, we're building with really light layers. All right, so let's go ahead and set these before we go in with our, oh wait, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot my Rare Beauty blush. Baby, I, how, 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 how did I do that? We ain't about to forget this. I love this so much. It's so pretty. Fix Plus does the thing thing. Each and every time. It just does. And we're just going to set everywhere. We have highlight. Just one little tiny light layer. Like, did you see it? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS bronzer. And we're going to bronze up the face. Starting with the cheeks. So and a little bit of warmth. Okay, so now we are about to go back into this Pat McGrath palette. I've been playing with this a lot. One, because look at the colors. Like, this is a beautiful palette, and we got to go through all of these, okay? Because I had heard somebody wanted some natural glam makeup on YouTube for over 40, okay? So we're going to go through all of these colors because they are so beautiful, and this palette pat mcgrath palettes are an investment and this one in particular i did just want to show that like you can use just this and like get a good look because of the matte shades that are in here and i love this brown because it's like a pinky brown it's so pretty okay so now i'm gonna go in with my brow bone highlight from my james charles palette we're going to use this shade right in the center and then that's it for the james charles palette okay so now we're gonna go in with the other brown the darkest one and we're gonna work this in the outer v okay again oh let me zoom in when I say keeping it tight, keeping it at the outer V, we're keeping it tight. And if you wanted a softer look, don't raise the brows like I did, right? Like you see how soft and pretty that is and like really naked nude. We'll do that one next time. But right now, I really want to smoke out my outer V because this is really like a very glamorous look that I'm going for. Somebody asked me something about, they said, the last time I posted a glitter look, somebody said, I love glitter, but I noticed that it gets in my lines and make my fine lines show more. Um, don't put it on the lid. Like, do a little lower lash inner corner action with the glitter. I don't know why y'all be saying y'all can't put on the lid. It's just as if what I did for, was let it dry a little bit first. So that way when you go to stick it, it just it sticks and it doesn't give you a problem. So you see what I mean when I say keep the glitter like to the inner corner and under the eye. That's a good way to wear it still if you feel like it's getting in your fine lines. So this is the finished makeup look and I find it absolutely adorable. I love it so much if you do too give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check the description box and sign up for my vip beauty brief where you will receive exclusive beauty content just like this straight to your inbox each week that's right i'm gonna be in your dms like comment share and subscribe and i'll be sure to see you on the next one Mwah!